Hola. Thank you for being a part of the Ostos Community College Foundation Virtual Scholarship Benefit. To allow time for all of our guests to join, we will begin the program in three minutes. Thank you for your support, and please stand by. Bienvenidos. On behalf of the Ostos Community College Foundation, welcome to the 2021 Annual Scholarship Benefit, Virtual Edition. I'm Michael Max Nabi, Executive Director of BronxNet, and I'll be your host this evening. Firstly, I want to thank all of you for joining us tonight and to extend profound appreciation to the Scholarship Benefit sponsors. Our presenting sponsors are the Stavros Nyarkos Foundation and Bronx Care Health System. Our community sponsors are ATAX, Tax Preparation and Business Services, Michael Proper and Family and ChessNYC.com in honor of the Richard A. Proper Memorial Scholarship and Bronx Care Health System. Each of these generous supporters make it possible for Ostos to further its mission, ensuring that higher education opportunities remain accessible to all who seek them. Thank you. BronxNet TV and Ostos Community College have a long history, and we've had the privilege to collaborate with the Ostos community in many ways from providing experiential learning opportunities for OSCO students at BronxNet to arts documentation and dissemination locally and internationally. I've gotten to spend a lot of time on this beautiful campus and work with amazing people that form the OSCO's community. 
Tonight, we'll visit just a few of my favorite places around Ostos. Right now, we're outside the Longwood Art Gallery, a community gallery on the Ostos campus managed by the Bronx Council on the Arts that features amazing artists from the Bronx and around the world. This is one of my favorite places on earth. Ostos Center for the Arts and Culture is where the community comes together to showcase and celebrate the phenomenal talents of local artists and to experience international performances. Ostos Center celebrates the rich culture of the South Bronx and the diverse group of people who make the Bronx their home. It's places like Ostos Center that help make Ostos a true anchor institution of this neighborhood and the surrounding areas. Ostos is at the heart of this cultural corridor. Now please join me in welcoming the interim president of Ostos Community College, Dr. Daisy Coco De Felipe. Good evening. Muy buenas noches. I am Dr. Daisy Coco De Filippis, the interim president of Ostos Community College. And it is my pleasure to welcome you to the Ostos Community College Foundation's 2021 virtual annual scholarship benefit. I would first like to take a moment to recognize our two presenting sponsors for this special event, Bronze Care Health System and the Stavros Niarcos Foundation. Thank you, Bronze Care, and thank you, Stavros Niarcos Foundation, for your generous support of our students. I am deeply grateful for your demonstrated commitment to our community. A very special thank you to our foundation chair, Jose Sanchez Kinghorn and all the members of the Ostos Foundation and colleagues in our Development and Institutional Advancement Office, most particularly Acting Dean Susan Pinamonte. And thank you all for joining us this evening. I know that this event has become an annual highlight for many of us. Typically, we would dress up, gather at a beautiful venue, savor a delectable dinner, hit the dance floor, and enjoy a beautiful evening together, celebrating another year of student success at Ostos. This year, well, things, as you know, are different. This year, perhaps, you are ordering takeout food for dinner, streaming your favorite music at home, and dancing in your cozy pajamas and slippers. Though the particulars of this festivity have changed, we still have so much to celebrate even more so because Ostos remains as vibrant as ever. Tonight, we applaud our remarkable honorees, each of whom has been a generous and valued supporter of the college and our students. Continental Food and Beverage Incorporated, Inca Cola USA, will receive the Community Impact Award. Mr. and Mrs. Stewart and Randy P. Finer will accept the Philanthropic Impact Award and the Honorable Jose E. Serrano will be presented with a Lifetime Community Service Award. Congratulations to each of our deserving honorees. Enhorabuena, and thank you so much for your steadfast and impactful support of Ostos throughout the years. We also recognize the contributions of just a few of our brave alumni frontline heroes who have selflessly provided compassion and care to the members of our communities affected by the COVID-19 virus. Tonight, we have the privilege of viewing a visual narrative piece created by one of our talented digital design and animation students, inspired by the prolonged sheltering place order of last spring. You will bear witness to a day in the life of an indomitable and remarkable Osto student whose experiences reflect those of so many other students as she manages work, school, and caring for her children. You will see that through the support of our dedicated faculty, staff, and friends, also students continue to persist, achieve, and succeed. We have weathered financial, social, and economic crisis before, and through it all, we have always remained true to our mission to serve as a transformational agent of positive change and to provide access to higher education opportunities to all who seek them. To fully realize this vision, Ostos provides 
an exceptional comprehensive network of student supports. And one of the greatest of these supports is the scholarship fund. Scholarships empower students to maintain academic momentum and serve as a powerful reminder to them that their community believes in them, cares about them, and invests in their success. There has perhaps been no time throughout the history of Hostos when these funds have been more critical. When the pandemic caused job loss for 40% of CUNY students, you responded. You bolster our emergency relief funds, helping students to put food on their tables, keep a roof over their heads, and continue their education. Tonight, we celebrate the incredible success made possible when we invest in also students. We celebrate all that we are able to achieve when we come together to support one another. Tonight, we celebrate you. Thank you, each and every one of you, for your support of the mission of this institution and your belief in our students. Thank you for being a valued member of our Ostos family. Mil gracias, Madam President, for your words, your leadership, and for the work you do in the service of Ostos students. Now, it is my pleasure to introduce the board chair of the Ostos Community College Foundation, Jose Sanchez Kinghorn. Take it away, Hochi. Greetings. I am Jose Sanchez Kinghorn, chairperson of the Ostos Community College Foundation. On behalf of the foundation board members, I extend our profound gratitude to all of you who have joined us for this event and who have remained committed supporters of the college, especially during these challenging times. While we faced daunting obstacles over the last year, Ostos swiftly responded to ensure the well-being and success of our students. And we could not have been prouder of our students. They responded to these challenges with tremendous grace and determination. Despite a near overnight transition from in-person learning to remote instruction, more than 1,400 students persisted and earned their degrees in the spring of 2020, marking one of the largest graduating classes in Ostos history. Last spring, our nursing students graduated early and bravely joined the city's efforts to combat COVID and provide compassionate care to those in need. Faculty and staff embraced inventive ways to engage and forge profound connections with students in virtual classrooms. These accomplishments have been made possible because, as our name implies, Ostos is committed to the community. We're able to persist through adversity because we come together to support one another. And this year has reaffirmed just how supportive and strong our community is. It has also reaffirmed just how imperative our students' emergency scholarship funds are, which is why I ask you to consider making a gift to the Bridge Tuition Support Assistant Fund, also known as BTSA. This fund assists students who are facing financial hardships, so many of our students balance numerous commitments, school, their families, their jobs, and more. They put their hearts and soul into everything that they do, but many lack the financial resources to afford both tuition and the basic necessities. BTSA helps to ensure that students do not have to choose between keeping a roof over their head and staying in school. This tuition relief fund allows them to focus on their studies and earn their degrees. For so many of our students, BTSA is the bridge that enables them to overcome, persist, and succeed. Tonight, a link will be shared with you so that you can make a gift to BC BTSA and demonstrate your support for those students of Ostos. You can also visit ostosbenefit.com to make your gift online. Once again, thank you all for your impactful support of our exceptional students, and thank you for joining us tonight.
Thank you, Board Chair Sanchez Kinghorn. We are now on the iconic Ostos Bridge, which spans across the Grand Concourse, connecting the Allied Health Building to the East Academic Complex. The bridge and the East Academic Complex opened in 1994, and they've become a hub for student activity. Because on-campus activities are currently restricted, this space feels a bit different, but lining the walls and ceiling, you can still be reminded of the perseverance and activism that has always been deeply rooted in the spirit of Ostos. Across the ceiling of this space, you see the words visionary then, visionary now, which is a constant reminder to Ostos students, faculty, and staff that this college was created to be an agent of positive transformation. We are always striving to build a stronger future. From our Circle of 100 tree, which commemorates the generosity of those that founded the Circle of 100 Emergency Scholarship, to the mural showcasing the protests that successfully saved the college from closure in the 70s, even without student presence, this is clearly an institution that was created by and for the community. Tonight, we will highlight the outstanding contributions of several individuals who are continuing the legacy of service and community investment with their support of Osto students and the college. Our honorees have affirmed their support of the incredible dedicated students of Ostos, and each of them has tremendously impacted this college and its community. It is now our great honor to present the first of our three honorees who have shown their support of Ostos. The first honoree is Continental Food and Beverage Inca Cola USA. Under the leadership of CEO Elizabeth Berman, CFNB became the first Hispanic and women-owned bottler and distributor for the Coca-Cola Company, and it has expanded its brand to become an industry leader in manufacturing and distributing food and beverage products. In addition to its support of Osto students, CFNB has sent an annual humanitarian mission to the Dominican Republic with the Friends of Lead Free Children Foundation to provide safe nutritional supplements to pregnant mothers and young children for their commitment to fostering healthy and vibrant communities. Join me in congratulating Continental Food and Beverage Inca Cola USA on receiving the Community Impact Award. I humbly accept this award on behalf of Continental Food and Beverage and our Inca Cola family. We are so proud to be recognized by the Hostos Community College family. Just as the famous Puerto Rican educator and hero, Eugenio Maria de Hostos, do, did during his life, Hostos Community College strives to empower our community in the South Branch and vicinity through the many educational programs serving as a gateway to higher education. We are so fortunate to have this remarkable institution since 1968. Muchísimas gracias a todos. Our second honorees are Mr. and Mrs. Stuart and Randy P. Finer. The Finers were unfamiliar with Ostos until Mr. Finer read an article in the New York Times, the neediest cases series about a deserving student who was struggling to afford his education. The Finers came to campus for a tour to learn more about the college and its incredible students, after which Stuart and Randy personally funded tuition for two students. Seeking to further their impact, they went on to establish the Finer Family and Special Needs Scholarship Fund, which has helped nearly 75 students persist toward their goal since 2019. Please join me in honoring Mr. Stewart and Mrs. Randy P. Finer with the Philanthropic Impact Award. My wife and I, first of all, would like to uh, thank Costas again for this award. Uh, by way of background, uh, for a number of years, we have uh, provided scholarship and similar programs at other institutions. Uh, we were introduced by a part to a part-time student at Hostis and provided uh, funding uh, for uh, that student uh, over the past few years. And based upon how well that particular uh, funding arrangement uh, worked, 
uh, we decided to create a scholarship program for part-time and full-time students at Hostis. Uh, and as part of that program, also to provide funding for uh, emergency expenses uh, that students uh, might, re might require. And we've been very happy with the results of that program. And we hope to continue to provide uh, funding for the scholarship program that we created. So thank you again for the award. Our third and final award of the evening goes to the Honorable Jose E. Serrano. Mr. Serrano has been a friend of this institution since it first opened its doors. His record of service and advocacy at the highest levels of government has brought impactful, positive change to the South Bronx. His distinguished and trailblazing career is an inspiration. And for all he has done, in the service of the people of the Bronx and nation, the Honorable Jose E. Serrano is recognized with the Lifetime Community Service Award. This means a lot to me. Also, has been part of me throughout my political career. I've been, I served in the State Assembly for 16 years and now in Congress for 30, that's 46 years. Throughout those years, also has been very much a part of my work and my uh, commitment to the community. But then I always think that if there's an institution, a program in our community that could really live up to the name community or to the word community, it's Ostos, because Ostos has been always part of the community. Whenever there was a discussion about health care, about upcoming elections, about education, you name it, Ostos is always there and giving us space and allowing people to be involved. <clears throat> and I think back, to the days when there was a, a desire to merge Austos College with another community college, the community got together and a young, young assemblyman at that time named Jose Serrano and the late Senator Bob Garcia, who was Congressman and a Senator at that time, joined up in the State Assembly to make sure that we would not lose Austos College. And it was the greatest decision we ever made because Austos has been living up to our desire for it to keep growing. Also, it's also the place at the beginning, and it continues to be, where people who had not been involved in education for some years, who were not going to school again or perhaps forever, came back to school, came back to also. And at one time, I remember the average edu uh, graduating age was 27 years old, which was different from everything else. But that's what also means. So also means a lot to me means a lot to this community. I want to congratulate you for your work. And I want to congratulate you and thank you for all the support you've given the community and given me personally throughout the years. And I hope that I've given you something in return. Thank you. Congratulations to all of the honorees. Thank you for your impactful contributions to Ostos and our community in helping to provide scholarship opportunities for students. I stand now in the atrium of the Allied Health Building. Ostos has built a reputation for outstanding programs in nursing, radiologic technology, and dental hygiene. In addition to producing highly qualified graduates who are ready to provide exceptional care, Ostos serves the community by providing free dental hygiene services through the Dental Hygiene Patient Care Facility. While the college is always proud of our graduates and their important contributions to their field, this year has brought to light the courage and tenacity required of those who choose to enter the healthcare field. Tonight, we also want to recognize a few of the Ostos alumni healthcare professionals who have been so essential to our city's recovery during the COVID-19 pandemic. It is my pleasure to introduce Alumni Relations Manager, Felix Sanchez, who will tell you more about these alumni frontline heroes. Thank you, Mr. Nobby, and good evening to you all. We're pleased to honor the bravery and dedication of just a few of our host of alumni serving on the healthcare front lines. These distinguished healthcare providers are truly heroes helping our city to combat the COVID-19 pandemic. 
First, we acknowledge and thank the skilled long-term care nurses who compassionately serve the most vulnerable populations. Febidauri Valerio Arias, class of 2017, is a licensed practical nurse at a Metropolitan Jewish Hospital Services long-term care facility. Salimata Sek, class of 2016, a registered nurse at Mary Manning Walsh Nursing Home. And Doreen Tomlinson, class of 2012, a registered nurse at Bronx Lebanon Special Care Center. Next, we extend our gratitude to two dedicated ER nurses who provide patients, families with kindness and understanding and whose competence and composure save lives. Karen Garcia, class of 2012, a registered nurse at Lincoln Hospital, and Siobhan Michelle Bell, class of 2016, a registered nurse at Montefiore Medical Center. And finally, we thank Dr. Elvin Mendez, class of 2010. Dr. Mendez is completing his anesthesiology residency at Long Island Jewish Medical Center and North Shore University Hospital. When he was redeployed to the intensive care unit, he adapted to support the needs of acute COVID patients while continuing to assist with emergency surgeries as needed. Our city owes a debt of gratitude to these individuals and to the thousands of frontline healthcare workers and service providers who have been so instrumental throughout the pandemic. Many of our hostels alumni have contributed to these valiant efforts and we're immensely proud of each of them. These individuals are a testament to the academic excellence of Hostos and the spirit of community service that is so deeply rooted in the values of the college. To these six outstanding professionals and to all who give of themselves in the service of helping others, thank you for your invaluable contributions. Once again, thank you, stay safe, and take care. Gracias, Felix. These exemplary healthcare professionals do such important work and their dedication to the community is to be applauded. Next is an original video created by digital design and animation student, Sky Candelario. This assignment was inspired by her reflections in the early months of the pandemic, shelter in place orders. It is titled, Hope. Hope. New York, the city that never sleeps. Or is it us that never sleep? Millions of people, all here for one reason, one dream, a journey to our destination. Not a day goes by where we don't feel tired. Most sleep we'll probably ever get is on the trains, on our way to work, or on our way home. We keep pushing. Not a day goes by where we don't fear failure. Counting the change in our pockets and realizing it isn't enough to feed ourselves at the end of the night. We keep pushing. Not a day goes by where we don't ask ourselves if this is all worth it. If the sweat and tears we put in will ever amount to something. But we keep pushing. We sacrifice ourselves every day. We go through hell praying that eventually we'll end up in heaven. We're angels that want to arrive at a place of peace and happiness. Angels that want to go home. One thing about us is that we don't give up. We're emotionally and physically drained, but there's something that keeps us going, that keeps us alive. It is hope, a four letter word so powerful that it keeps us dreamers motivated in a world full of non-believers. Hope. That was beautiful. Now let's learn more about the students who are working towards earning their degrees at Ostos. Here's a look into the life of one student, student Senator Isabel Niera Sanchez. We will follow her throughout a typical day as she balances her family and student life. While she is truly a remarkable woman, she represents a common experience for Ostos students, managing jobs, volunteering, coursework, and raising children. And thank you, Isabel, for giving us this peek behind the scenes into your life. Ostos Community College is home to thousands of students, each with a unique story that brought them to the college. Isabel Neira Sanchez is a student at Ostos. 
and like many of her classmates, she has continued her studies remotely since March 2020. As an immigrant, a parent, and a first-generation college student, Isabel's experience is very similar to that of her fellow students. Empecé aquí para aprender inglés, pero Hostos me empujó a ver mi potencial y darme cuenta que podía obtener mi diploma y obtener un trabajo a lo que yo amo. Born in Peru, Isabel immigrated to the United States in 2011, joining her now husband, who arrived three years earlier. Like most Osto students, Isabel and her family live in the I'm very happy and blessed to have two little children. They are proud of me and I am a example for them. Cuando yo estudio, cuando pienso en ellos, ¿ve? Y entonces digo, pues es como es una fuerza para uno para seguir, seguir, seguir. Ya. Ellos son, yo creo que si ellos no estuvieran, yo no estuviera aquí. So, during the pandemic, Isabel has had to juggle managing her college coursework while also overseeing her children's virtual learning. As her husband is at work during the day, Isabel cares for their children on her own. Her daughter is in the second grade and her son in the first. Despite the challenges this presents, she ensures that her children stay on top of their schoolwork and continue their activities throughout the day. The pandemic time is like a huge different than normal. It's very challenging for students, especially if you are a mom. I, uh, I have two, two little children. I need to help and support them with their works and I need to, to do my, my homework too. Even though my husband, in the middle of the pandemic, he, get, he got COVID-19, and that was very difficult for me to support everything and manage my time. In addition to the challenges of balancing her academic studies and her children's schooling, Isabel's family has also experienced financial uncertainty. After contracting COVID-19, her husband lost a source of income for weeks. Like many Osto students, Isabel does not qualify for federal financial aid. However, through a scholarship award, she was able to persist and supplement her tuition and school-related expenses. Isabel first came to Ostos to learn English through the CUNY Language Immersion Program, also known as CLIP. Though Isabel and her husband were both highly successful in the program, they decided that she would be the one to continue her education and attain her associate degree at Ostos. Her husband's job was enough to support the needs of the family, but they could not fully afford tuition at Ostos for both of them. He had hoped to attend school as well, but remains very supportive and encourages Isabel to continue pursuing her education and degree. My career goals is to push myself and to get my bachelor's degree and continue my education and to help others. That's my goal. Isabel is passionate about leading a healthy lifestyle and hopes to continue her education at Lehman College to earn a bachelor's degree in dietetics, food, and nutrition. At this moment, I am working in the Lincoln Hospital as a volunteer. My role in the Lincoln Hospital is to take the temperature in the main entrance. I love what I, I am doing through all this pandemic time. As a committed community member, in addition to her volunteer work at both Ostos Community College and at Lincoln Hospital, Isabel is an active member of the student government, serving as a senator and a secretary. A scholarship assistant has made possible for me to stay on track to earn my degree. And I want to say thank you to the donors who have supported my success as a student. Isabel is just one of the many incredible students who are persevering through these challenging times. And for her, receiving scholarship support has alleviated stress and lessened financial burdens, which allows her to look towards her future. Investing in students like Isabel provides educational access and opportunity, but it also affirms that we believe in them. 
This support enables families to establish the foundation that empowers the next generation. Ostos is committed to academic excellence and to ensuring that financial hardship will not prevent students from achieving their dreams. And with your assistance, these students will succeed, just like Isabel. Well, everyone, we have reached the end of our program. I enjoyed celebrating these outstanding individuals who have contributed so much to their communities with you. And I'm so pleased that BronxNet is the community partner to bring you this event tonight. I certainly hope you leave this event inspired by the achievements of those dedicated students and friends of the college. Also, as you've seen tonight, though student engagement looks a little different right now, Ostos and its students continue to thrive. In virtual classrooms, students persist, excel, and continue to use their unique talents to shape a strong future for themselves and their families. You can help the Ostos Community College Foundation ensure that these dedicated students are equipped to overcome the financial difficulties that impede their academic success. By supporting the Bridge Tuition Support Assistance Fund, or BTSA, you will help to continue the legacy of student success at Ostos Community College. To make a contribution, please visit ostosbenefit.com. On behalf of the Ostos Community College Foundation, the college and its students, thank you for joining us tonight and thank you for making this important investment in our students. We look forward to seeing you, hopefully in person, next year. Keep Bronx and Ostos strong and healthy. Para siempre.